Today, we honor Redefine Meat, an Israel-based startup company which utilizes 3D printing technology to produce realistic plant-based steaks. The company's revolutionary approach brings alternative meat to a whole new level. Made from natural, sustainable sources, their cruelty-free steaks closely replicate the appearance, texture, and flavor of animal meat. Mr. Esther Benchy Treat, founder and CEO of Redefine Meat, started his company with a vision to make a positive change in the world. Realizing that the meat industry is the world's most inefficient, resource-intensive industry, he wanted to provide a better solution. Redefine Meat is the culmination of his concern for animals and our planet, and his passion for sustainable food and technology. Despite his very busy schedule, Mr. Benchy Treat graciously set aside time to talk with one of our association members in this special interview. Well, the food industry is like other industries that needed a solution, needed innovation. You know, it's the 21st century. We don't need to produce food the same way we produced it in the 80s, right? And, and this is what we're trying to do. The vision of the company is to replace meat. So it's not bringing 3D printing to people's home. Because if you look at an industry that has a problem, the food industry has many problems. What's the biggest problem for the food industry, for the world? Animal as a source for food. Okay? What's the biggest issue within that? It's beef. So we want to have a platform that solves the problem that we need beef to make steaks. People want to buy meat, so we're giving them meat. We're not giving them dead animals. If the meat can come from a different source, everybody will be happy to serve it. But what they cannot compromise on? Quality. Experience. Price? They want quality, they want something rich, something tasty that you can enjoy at the center of the plate, like everybody around the world. Redefine Meat is proud about offering the same intense experience that meat lovers seek and because of that, they may appeal more to meat lovers than to some vegans. The company understands that taste and quality is very important when creating a vegan meat alternative. There's a huge part of the population that wants to eat less meat, but they don't do it because the meat alternatives are not good enough. So we are making a product that for most vegan is too intense, okay? If you decided not to eat meat and you don't miss meat, why would you eat something that resembles flesh, okay? But unfortunately, or fortunately, most people in the world did not decide to stop eating meat. They still eat meat every day. Mm -hmm. and, and this is the market that we need to, to educate, but we need to serve them a different kind of meat. With great mainstream appeal, redefined meat is cruelty-free healthier, has 95% less environmental impact, and will be more affordable than animal meat when it reaches the market. We have no cholesterol. Yeah, this is easy. When you look at an, at an animal, when you slaughter an animal, people don't understand that. Uh, you have uh, food pathogens that exist in, in a cow and it's almost impossible not to have them go to your meat. In our case, we don't have any of these pathogens. There's a lot of new research about um, lipids, fats, oxidizing mm -hmm. in meat, mm -hmm. uh, which cause potentially uh, different types of cancers. And of course, in the process that we have and the fats that we have, we don't have this oxidation of lipids that can be a risk to your health. And in general, plant-based meat, uh, has a more balanced nutritional content. So it has higher fiber, no cholesterol, slightly less fat. We want to be first tasty and second similar to meat. And only third, we look at the nutrition. Because if the product is very nutrition and it's not tasty, then again, what's the point? Wonderful viewers, we'll be back shortly with more from Redefine Meat after these uplifting messages. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television.
Welcome back to our show about Redefine Meat, a pioneer in the vegan alternative meat industry. We continue our conversation with Mr. Asher Benchitrit, its founder and CEO. How is Redefine Meat able to perfect the taste and texture of its product? We also served it to people as meat. So people that didn't know, because that's the ultimate test. If you tell people what they're eating, then you can ask them questions. But how do you know if it's meat or not? You serve it to people that do not know, they think that they're eating meat, and then you see how many discovered that it's not meat and nobody knew when we didn't tell them. Mm. The second path is analytical. There's actually machines that can measure things like texture. So there we know from literature and from experiments what are the different properties of meat and how our product matches uh, in relation to meat and how does it stand versus existing alternative meat products because we want to be better. Uh, so we do that in the Technion, the analytical part we do in the Technion, the sensory part we do here, but we also did it with uh, chefs in restaurants already, not at a massive scale, but in April this year, we served over 200 dishes as meat to people that didn't know that it's meat oh. in restaurants, in a hotel. Oh. For their outstanding innovation, Redefine Meat won the 2018 Food Accelerator Network Program competition. Because I started uh, with, with a lot of partners and the help of the, my co-founder and some investors with a vision. And the vision was to bring new technology into food development and manufacturing. But I don't come from a food background. I come from a technology and printing and 3D printing background. So I had to make this move to get more knowledge, more connection and ecosystem partnership within the food system. We learned how to steer the company more into a food technology company, and not just purely a technology company. And then at the end of a very quick process, we were able to stand in front of this ecosystem of people from the food industry and actually win. Uh, so it was sort of um, the starting point of us not only being a technology company, but a, f a, f a part of this food technology movement. Smarter companies in the meat industry, they embrace this innovation. So instead of saying what you're doing is not meat, I'm, I'm doing meat for 500 years, this is our tradition, it says, I have a know-how on how to get meat to chefs. What chefs want? You have a new kind of meat. Let's collaborate. Instead of competing, let's collaborate. Bravo Redefine Meat for this well-deserved achievement. We are sure your advancements in food tech will be a tremendous help for the many people who wish to change to the plant-based diet. Hopeful viewers, thank you for your delightful company today during Shining World Protection Award recipient. Redefine it. Advancing Vegan Food Technology, Part 1 of 2.